All right, Jennifer here, uh, talking today briefly about um, casting. So I have here in front of you, this is a Velociraptor uh, foot, um, and this is a cast, not the real dinosaur bones. Um, it's been mounted so that I can show this off um, and you know talk about the, the foot and the bones in a Velociraptor. So pretty cool, you can see the, the killing claw, um, you can see the long, um, the bones um, in the feet and how they're all connected. It's pretty spectacular. Um, and it's easy to move around, not super heavy. Um, and because it's a cast, it's replaceable. Um, so a lot of times when we go out to museums and we think we're all gonna see all the bones all the time, but the reality is there's not enough bones for every single person who wants to have it to use it to teach people to have it in a collection. So I certainly am not going to have a Velociraptor foot that I can just, you know, have in my personal collection to go and, and, and show people. So I have a cast to be able to show it off. Um, now casts are really great because again, they increase the places that you can send your fossils so that more and more people can see them and enjoy them and learn from them. Um, and two, it takes things that might be very heavy or very fragile agile or not very common um, and make it so that you can put it on display in maybe more lifelike recreations. So this one, um, it's all been put together in museums. The, the cast, they, are, they don't weigh nearly as much as those heavy bones, the real bones, because they are made out of rock. Um, and so when you can put them together with wire, you can put them into lifelike um, recreations and it's much more engaging and it gets our brains to think a lot more of what that animal really was like. So I have, um, if you ever get a chance to go and do a fossil casting program, I highly recommend it. Um, I have actually two examples. Um, so this is looking at um, a fossil sea turtle. Um, and I can actually try to tell you the name. I have it written down. It's Nickel Semis Berii. Um, this is a Cretaceous sea turtle that was found in Alberta. Um, now what I have is a cast. Um, and so I actually have two of them. And what's really cool is you can see this is a plaster cast. So casts can be made with different materials. Um, but basically to make it the original fossil what a mold was made around it. So a mold is what the outer, the imprint would be. Um, and then you take the original out and you put it either on display or in storage so it's protected. And then you can make as many replicas of it, exact copies as you want. And so that's what this is. You take the mold, you create the liquidy plaster, you pour it in, let it solidify, and then you pop it out and you have this cool um, replica. As so you can see the eyes, you can see the nose, um, and then the back of the skull. And this is broken. It's actually exactly, it's not perfect, but it's what the fossil looked like. Um, and so this is just really cool on its own to be able to see all of that detail. Now, this wouldn't be as exciting to put on display um, in a museum. So that's where the artists come in and they get to spend time painting the cast to make it look exactly like the original. Um, and so this is one um, that I painted. I didn't actually see the original, um, but had an idea. So the, the brown showing those bones, and then you can see the sediment kind of coming through uh, the fossil um, as it goes around. So it's just really a neat example of how you can take, I don't have the original, but you have the original, you make a mold, make a cast, and then you paint it, and it's ready to go on display. Um, and it's just one of the fun things. If you ever get to do a fossil casting activity, if you're at a museum, I highly recommend it. Super fun, and you get a great takeaway to take home. Hope you'd enjoy it.